Donald Trump has beaten Nikki Haley to win the New Hampshire primary and pocket another victory in their two-horse race for the Republican presidential nomination. But the question was, how close would she get and would it be close enough to trigger a real contest? US correspondent Mitch McCann has the results. Donald Trump showed up to polling stations with all the swagger of a winner. After a landslide in Iowa, polls suggested he was in line for another victory. This is organic. This is organic. New Hampshire is the second US state to vote for the Republican presidential nominee. It's now down to just Donald Trump and Nikki Haley to take on the Democratic president, Joe Biden. And all signs are pointing one way. Voting for Donald Trump. I voted for Donald Trump. Donald Trump. There is no other person that is right for this country. It was those voters who propelled Trump to the victory he expected just hours later. CNN projects that Donald J. Trump will win the Republican presidential primary in New Hampshire. The former president scoring his second decisive victory of 2024. A decisive win called by the TV networks only moments after the polls closed. The result further cements Trump's place at the top of the Republican Party. Nikki Haley, though, refused to hand Trump the party's nomination, determined to push on. This race is far from over. There are dozens of states left to go. A dozen states Donald Trump doesn't want to have to compete for in the coming months. Perhaps that's why he arrived on stage tonight, ready to rip into Haley for staying in the contest. Who the hell was the imposter that went up on the stage before and, like, claimed a victory. She did very poorly, actually. The former president also used his primetime victory speech to fire a few shots at the current one. The man can't put two sentences together. He can't find the stairs off a stage. But Joe Biden's still standing. And for now, at least, so too is Nikki Haley. In New York, Mitch McCann, News Hub.